Hey everyone, welcome to the January 18th edition of the uh, Chaos Community Weekly Call. So happy to see everybody here. I see a couple of new faces. That's, well, new names anyway. <laughs> it's great to have you. Um, just so you know, we do not care at all. If you have your, um, if we have your, uh, your camera off, totally fine. We don't care. It's really casual here. So we're just really happy to see you. Um, Ayush and Ria, I don't know if you want to um, introduce yourselves. Um, that would be great. Just to see a quick introduction of who you are. Actually, do you, is it would it be okay if we just took like ten seconds per person and everybody go around? Because I feel like that would be also be helpful for them. So, um, Ria, you can go ahead and start. Happy to start. Uh, thank you. I, I, I'm still kind of feeling my way around this, but I just joined HPE as their new OSPO program manager, uh, focusing on compliance. And I had learned about chaos at OSPOCon last September, and I've been intrigued by it. So I'm kind of lurking for now to figure out what role or how I could use this as part of my role at HPE. Really great to meet you. Nice to meet uh, you. So Welcome. Happy to have you here. Um, yeah, that's awesome. I'm really glad that you were able to make this meeting. Um, I am, for anyone who doesn't know, I'm Elizabeth, by the way. I know it says Chaos Community on Zoom. I'm Elizabeth. I'm the community manager, and I do facilitate these meetings. You'll see me popping up at working groups um, throughout the week and on Slack and other places, mailing lists, wherever else. So uh, if you have any questions about Chaos at all, Ria or Ayush or anybody, um, feel free to come to me. I can point you in the right direction if I don't have the answer. A lot of times I don't have the answer, but I can find out where to find it. So um, yeah, so I will pick the next person to go, and that would be Ayush. Hi. Hi, everyone. So uh, my name is Ayush Tamra, and I am a new community member at Chaos. And I'm feeling very excited to join the community and uh, uh, like really like the culture where uh, everyone is collaborative and inclusive and helping each other in the community. Uh, so really excited to contribute to the community. Welcome, welcome. Um, Sophia, do you want to go next? And then you can pick whoever goes after you. Sure. Hi, I'm Sophia Vargas. I am a program manager in Google's open source programs office. Um, I've been working with the CAS community now for a little over a year, um, primarily in the central groups and the risk working group. Um, I'm going to pick Sean next because he's the next in my queue. Okay. Hi. I'm Sean Goggins. I'm a computer science professor at the University of Missouri. I helped co-found the project, and I'm currently co-directing it with Nicole Hoosman. I also lost my voice uh, as I recovered from COVID, so um, <clears throat> I won't speak much today. Sean, you want to pick oh, the next and I'll pick. I'll, I'll pick Kevin. Kevin you just said he stepped away. He stepped away, so bad pick. Oh, oh, Armstrong. <laughs> Armstrong, you're up. Thank you. <laughs> uh, quick recovery, Sean. So my name is Armstrong Foundjem. I'm uh, data-driven. I'm, I'm really enthusiastic about open source uh, world, especially ecosystems. I've been doing research in this area for close to four years now in the university level. So I also uh, collaborate with a couple of uh, communities around, including closers like Microsoft, especially where uh, uh, we have to use things like predictions, machine learning areas. I really uh, see Kios as a family organization, not just an open source project. It's more inclusive. I really appreciate that here. And I really like to encourage the new people who are joining to build a, a more diverse and inclusive family. So to that, I will pick Georg. Hey everyone, my name is Georg. It looks like George, but it's missing the E at the end because it's German. I always like to joke, it's the German efficiency. We got rid of that extra E. And I also helped co-found Chaos. My main activity right now is the podcast 
So if you want to hear stories of people using chaos metrics or analyzing open source projects, uh, anything around that, uh, come listen to the podcast. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And next, uh, Vinod. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Vinod Ahuja. I'm a doctoral student at University of Nebraska, Omaha, and I'm doing research in open source software. And I, I've been involved in Kiosk since beginning, though I'm not a co-founder, but I've been involved since very beginning of this project. So uh, yeah, that's all from my end. And now I can pick a Nicole, maybe. Nicole's on mute. On mute. I, I just figured that out. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, wherever you are in the world. Um, wow, it is so exciting to see everyone on, on this call. It's amazing. Um, uh, wow, I've, I have um, been with Chaos from um, sort of early stages. Um, I've uh, been in uh, open source for uh, about a dozen years. Um, uh, I sit uh, at Intel uh, in my day job, participate in chaos outside my day job, um, and I'm just really uh, energized by open source uh, community and developer engagement. Um, I have spent uh, my career in open source on the advocacy uh, side of life. And let's see, who hasn't gone? Um, uh, Matt Cantu, have you? Uh, I haven't gone yet. Thank you, Nicole. Okay. Um, so my name is Matt Cantu Snell. Um, I serve as the associate Matt at the Chaos Community. And um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I am really glad to um, talk about a little bit about, um, I work with the Chaos um, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Badging Initiative, where we badge events based on their DEI practices. And um, I, my biggest focus recently has been um, kind of bringing new people in as well as inclusive naming in the Chaos community. I'll go ahead and pass it to um, the, um, the chair, Matt, right here, Matt Dermabray. Well, hi, I'm Matt Jerome Prey. It's nice to meet you, uh, Ria and Ayush, and it's good to see everybody in the new year as well. So um, I'm a professor at the University of Nebraska at Omaha. I'm also one of the co-founders of the Chaos Project. And I kind of like to, I, I guess I'd say that I'm involved in many of the parts of the Chaos Project. So in many different pieces here and there. So I try to attend the working group meetings and um, one of the challenges I think in the chaos project and maybe any open source project is making sure things kind of stay together. <laughs> and we need people that kind of live in a variety of spots who can uh, translate across these different areas. So that's what I do. Uh, Don, it's all yours. Hello, everyone. It's good to be back. I'm Don Foster. So I'm director of open source community strategy at VMware within our open source program office. And I'm part of the governing board for chaos. And I just I just love data and metrics, which is kind of why I'm here. And I will pass it off to Ildiko. I don't know if Ildiko is still there. She's on mute. Hey, sorry, I, I'm on a phone call got interrupted. Anyway, my name is Yuriko Vancha. I'm working for the Open Infrastructure Foundation as Senior Manager of Community and Ecosystem. I do a lot of things. Uh, my technical focus is on telecommunication, NFV, edge computing, and my community focus is um, these days are orienting towards uh, what community managers do, uh, how to structure work, and obviously uh, when it comes to chaos, uh, what kind of metrics are, are playing a role in that? How can we get a better understanding about what our projects do, how they are progressing? Are people happy and thriving or struggling? 
how to figure out all these things and the dynamics and making sure that the communities are um, a balanced, um, successful, thriving ecosystem. So that these things are all part of what I do, both within the Open Infra Foundation and uh, also uh, doing my best to support the chaos community as well, because the work that the community is doing is really important. Uh, I've been on the board of the community close to the inception. So um, yeah, I'm appearing uh, with all kinds of hats on my head all the time and trying to balance that as we all do. And um, I'm sorry, I couldn't really follow who got the token and who didn't. I think we're done. Um, or, okay, cool. Then um, <laughs> I will just <laughs> pick whomever's topic is the next. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Ildiko. Okay, I think we got everybody. Kevin, whenever you come back, let us know if you want to just tell us a little bit about yourself. You obviously don't have to do that if you don't want to. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and drop the minutes in here one more time. I think that should be it. In case you have not added your name to the um, agenda as an attendee, that would be great if you want to do that. Um, so we do like to kind of keep track of, you know, what the attendance is, not individuals, if you're attending or not, we don't care. We just want to see how many people are showing up to these meetings and if, if they're working. So um, that would be the only reason. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share. So we can go through this. Um, <clears throat> okay. So the first one is um, just want to make sure everyone knows that we are changing the office hours um, instead of a two hour block every other week we're going to do it one hour every week for a little more consistency um, and also just to make it a little easier on me <laughs> so selfishly that's why i'm doing that um yeah it's just a little bit easier so uh, every tuesday from nine to ten um chicago time which is what all of the chaos Everything is based around the U.S. Central Chicago time zone. Uh, if you ever have a question about that, let me know. But that's kind of how we roll here. And um, it would be, I didn't write this on here, but it's just this channel, this um, the same Zoom link that you followed to get here would be the same uh, as the open office hours, just our regular chaos Zoom channel. Um, any questions about that? Does that only need to be updated in the calendar? I think I got it updated in okay. the calendar. Um, is there anywhere else? Didn't... Is it like in the handbook or anything? I don't think it is. Great question. I don't think question. so. I think we're pretty good at not having like these kind of things in more permanent documents. So I, I bet the calendar is the only place. Okay. If anybody finds it anywhere, let me know or open an issue wherever you found it and we can get that changed. So thanks, Matt. That's a great point. So this meeting on February 1st is replacing the one that we're doing at this time today? No, it's an extra. Um, the oh, open yeah. office hours is mostly for newcomers. Um, and then it's, I'm just basically sitting here at the at the computer <laughs> with the channel open. And if you want to come in and say hi and ask questions, great. If you don't, that's also fine. <laughs> so it's just me. Um, this meeting always happens at the same time and will forever probably happen at the same time. So um, does that clear that up? Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. That was a great question. I think someone else actually had that question too. So maybe I should um, make sure that people know that in the mailing list. Sophia. Um, I was just wondering about signups um, and just are we doing the same model in terms of uh, asking people to join you for certain periods or just like how do you, how do you want to approach attendance for those? Yeah, um, so just for context for anyone else, um, before we were kind of uh, rotating that um, facilitation of that, those op open office hours, like who would be the person that would sit and answer questions as needed. Um, Sophia, that's a great question. I think it's probably easier if I just do it. If you have a burning desire to do it and you wanna take one of those uh, Tuesdays, have at it. Like I'm, I'm not definitely not going to stop you, <laughs> but it was um, almost more trouble than it was worth to like, see if we had, you know, volunteers and trying to recruit people. Um, the, it's all been documented. I, I think if there's an open PR somewhere that just needs to be merged. Um, but it, so, you know, if somebody does want to do that, absolutely hundred percent, I will be more than happy to pass that torch to you for that Tuesday or yeah, that Tuesday. Um, so just let me know, send me an email. 
elizabeth at chaos.community and um, let me know. We'll just make it a little more free flowing instead of like, cause we had before we had like a big spreadsheet and we were, you know, keeping track of it. Yeah, that's like almost too much overhead for what it is right now. So um, yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Any other questions about office hours? Word up, let's move on then. Okay, so we did have some stuff from last week. Uh, the first one is that we opened a poll. Um, last week we talked about um, giving ourselves a name, like you know, GitHub employees call themselves Hubbers, for instance. So we uh, took some some ideas from last week. We dropped them in this poll uh, right here, and it looks like so. If you haven't voted and you would like to, uh, we're, we'll probably keep this open maybe another week just for the heck of it. Um, if we want to see who's winning the poll. It looks like the chaotics are winning. So um, yeah, if you haven't voted yet, then you should do that. Any questions about that? No, it's kind of neat to see the results. <laughs> yeah, it is. I don't know if that like taints the <laughs> or like biases I mean, people. Right. It does. <laughs> That's OK. <laughs> vote for the winning one, I guess. I really like this app, though. I had never used this before. And it's nice because it it lets you, you know, like but, decide yeah. like how much you like something, which is cool, I think. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see if if Chaotix keeps its lead or if something else goes forward, Agents of Chaos. Yeah. So we would then start the meeting with saying hey chaotix good to see you all and right yeah hi chaotix <laughs> yeah i'm down for it i'm all I'm here t-shirts I'm here. for sure <laughs> i feel like it's the first like thing that comes to mind is like the the name test where like can you scream it and still like the name <laughs> that's what we did with our kids yeah when we were naming the kids and pets all of it yeah you gotta yell it <laughs> chaotix sorry Okay, I think it works. I think we can do it, but we'll give it another week just in case. Sorry, that was really loud. Sorry to everyone who's now awake. It was not no, awake. The, the sound adjusted for you. <laughs> oh, did it? Oh, good. That's well. There you go. I'll just start yelling everything then. Awesome. Okay, so um, if we don't have any more questions about that. We'll move on. Okay. Um, the next one was we are still talking about our data statement um, focusing on privacy concerns. Uh, Matt, Lucas, Sophia, and Kevin were given an action item last week. Uh, it's only been a week. I don't know if you if you all have had a chance to make progress on this, but I'll let you take it away. Um, uh, no, but but <laughs> but I, I took a look at these documents. So. Um, a couple things and and Sophia or or Kevin I don't think Lucas is on right now but you could talk about this as well but one of the things that I did do was we want to put a, a disclaimer statement on our released metrics and it looked like we had that pretty well done so I'll put this just in the chat so for those of you that that are kind of are new or not familiar with this is this is our our github repository and our um, for metrics and ironically we have no metrics in this repository all of our metrics live in the respective working groups so if there's a metric around diversity equity and inclusion it it exists in the diversity equity and inclusion working group uh, repository if there's a metric for risk it exists in that repository and so on um, so really this repository just holds the templates. So if you click on, on resources, uh, could you bring that up, Elizabeth? And then inside of the resources we have, it's the quality checklist. So you should be familiar with that. So as we release metrics, there's a, a checklist that we go through as part of that release process. And then we also have the two templates in there for metrics and, um, metrics models and the difference between metrics and metrics models are that metrics are kind of the atomic low level items so for example like age of an issue or age of a pull request would be kind of a low level metric and metrics models are ways to bring those metrics together in meaningful ways so i'm just providing a little bit of background that, that some of you should know but um if you look at take a look at the prs elizabeth i did just add 
the update, the metric, oh, there's two in there. Blech. 23 minutes ago, 30. <laughs> All right, looks like Kevin and I are both on this. So nonetheless, you can click on mine. Um, and if you just go to the files changed, that tab up, yeah. You'll see this is just, this is the disclaimer that we had for our metrics around implementation. Kevin and I can sort out the, the PRs. Um, but it seems like this was the kind of the settled upon disclaimer that we would put in the implementation. So uh, that, that kind of takes care of that. Yeah. Th that disclaimer actually already exists on the website. Oh, it does? Well, then. Yeah, that's the, that's the high level uh, disclaimer that we have at the, uh, the top of the, the page on the. Uh, what did you add? Uh, I added a different disclaimer. Uh, the, the goal of the disclaimer that I added was to link specifically to the document that, uh, that Lucas yeah. uh, and, and Sophia. Oh, but don't we want to put, Kevin, did we not want to put this, I guess I kind of lost track then, did we not want to put this disclaimer on each metric? We just wanted to put it on the web page. So at the top of the implementation section, we wanted to put kind of a one to two sentence disclaimer that would actually point to a data ethics document that Lucas and Sophia are uh, kind of championing. Champion. And they, if, okay. Sophia, I'm sorry if I'm speaking out of turn. I, I believe you two are championing. I know Lucas is, is what he is, but. I have agreed to work on it, yes, if that's what okay. you mean. I can't think. Uh, I, just, I haven't worked on it yet, but I, I want to finish this note first. Yeah, so the, the purpose for that disclaimer is very specifically just to provide a link to this document that's going to be created. Okay. Uh, so, so it can I'm... be a little bit different than that high level disclaimer that we have up at, at the top of the page. Just at the top of the web page. Yeah, and okay. and because it's at the top of the web page, that actually does become part of our the cover page for the uh, the release PDF. Gotcha. So that that disclaimer is there as well. Okay. And I see, Kevin, you've also added in um, some of the other things that were not related to this particular issue, but um, that we wanted to change. Yeah, I, ha I had a couple action items for the metrics template. One of them was adding the uh, synonyms. Mm -hmm. uh, another one was the uh, uh, review date. Uh, and then we also had to make a change to the uh, uh, absolute. absolute paths for the images. So. so I don't I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I think Kevin's wins in the thumb wrestle for the merging of the PRs. I already closed mine, so I already oh. conceded. <laughs> <laughs> so who uh who's who merges this in? I, I mean I can. Okay. I think you have to actually because I requested you as a reviewer. Oh I see that. And merging is blocked until the okay. review is done. So okay. Well, Kevin you said something interesting and that is the disclaimer is in the PDF, and when we re-architected the PDF creation process, I think we forgot about that. Oh, did it get missed? Yeah, well, that's not good. Uh, thank you for thank you for bringing that up. I will uh, uh, I will take a look at that. So, so I think that I think we can include that in our the the operations team. We can we can take that up as one of the action items for the operations team when we when we eventually uh, do start meeting. Yeah. Are we collecting these <laughs> action items for the operations team anywhere? I feel like we just keep like, pushing things to them, and they haven't started yet. So like I want to make sure that I've they're... added a few in Slack. That might be the. That might be a good place to capture them right now until we have a an we outline can, place. Yeah, we a can place also to work. Dump, dump them in the community if you want. 
issues if you okay. want if you want to put them somewhere we can put them there but that, that is a good point though i do feel like we're dumping any unknown <laughs> any unknown <laughs> item <laughs> so we'll just give this like, to the operations team <laughs> right that sounds like a great job for them these poor people <laughs> haven't even come together yet and they're already overwhelmed um okay awesome so um Thank you to all who have worked on this. And uh, thank you, Kevin, for doing that PR. That's awesome. Thank you in advance for Matt for reviewing that and merging it. And yeah. Do we have any questions about this before we move on? So Sophia, I was looking at the, the ethics statement. Um, it's here. I'll put it in the chat. Um, and if you go down, there's like the outline for the proposal. Yeah, exactly right there. Or, yeah. Yep. Outline proposal for the consideration. So I, I don't know if you have this handy. I just want to make sure you, you had this. And then when I was looking at this, like I was wondering how we talked about this like how detailed we want to get because <laughs> some of these read okay to me like here are things that you need to think about at the high, highest level like privacy data handling data storage like, i don't know how much more you want to say about those kind of things probably not too much more given the nuance in both corporate and governing body opinions and how they vary across regions and companies. So it's more just to kind of flag areas of interest. Um, but I think it definitely warrants a closer review. I know the earlier stages of the document, if folks are in it, um, there was a lot of just collaborative suggestion. Um, so I think because I haven't looked at it in a while, I would want to review everything again. And just I can I can take this on um, this week, or at least to give it a look over this week um, and figure out how best to progress it. Okay. Well, just I'll add that when I was reading through this, I, it really felt like it helped me locate myself like, oh yeah, I should think about that if I'm using metrics. Oh, I should probably think about this too. All right, I should. So it, it did, a, I felt like it uh, did good work, it, even in this form right now. Yeah, I mean, I think the, it is sort of the struggle of like how much to say that's helpful, but not being too prescriptive because everyone's implementation is gonna vary. But like even just looking at this, like the one area that I'm not really sure how to handle yet is dealing with third parties um, and just kind of understanding the, like we don't wanna to get too prescriptive on any sort of particular regulation, um, but it's just like roles differ by who you're working with and how you're actually aggregating these things. Um, and sort of the distinction between the data control or processor, I guess, in the language of GDPR. Um, but I don't even know if we want to go there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll, I'll take it on as an action item to review this again and have some some way of proposal of how to move this forward. Um, I was expecting to see an operations gathering of sorts um, where we would tackle this in more of a, a functional execution. But if we need to do this beforehand, I'm okay to move forward on it without that meeting. Cool. Do we want to take this time to schedule that meeting? We could, or we could just do that in Slack. I'll put it in Slack. Was I supposed to do that? I feel like this. I, I, feel like I think we this. talked about coordinating in Slack <laughs> last time, so <clears throat> maybe this well, week we actually we, do yeah, it. Yeah, because we need Yash and Ritik. That's all. Because they're on yeah. the all right, I will do that right now. Okay. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Um, the next action item was from Matt Cantu Snell uh, expand on inclusive naming and adding some context. Do you want to talk a little bit about that, Matt? Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> It looks like the inclusive naming initiative is kind of building out their public lists of what might be like the most important 
not as important. And then like kind of recommendations for um, things to change the naming of your work. And I'm glad the list isn't super long yet because um, it's got like like five or six terms right now. But I'm really glad it's not super long yet because um, that way we can have something actionable that is something we can do over time and just improve as we add more, as add more names to the list or name more terms. So you can see on this tier one, tier two, tier three, um, it's just the tier one goes first and then tier two and tier three, but um, each, each um, link there for each tier has recommendations on what to replace each term with or how to replace each term and some reasoning on why that should be replaced. Um, I, I just made the, I made this in kind of like a review checklist kind of format that we may be able to go over, or I can do this on my own time, of course, too, is to go over older metrics or like from the bottom upward in time and say, um, <coughs> have these terms and can we replace, or how do we replace them basically, that's all. That's something that you want to do yourself, or do we want to include that check in the uh, review of older metrics? I think review of older metrics would be a good place for it. I can go ahead and put in a, um, a request to add that to that list. Yeah, that would be awesome. Thanks, Matt. So part of me, like looking at the inclusive naming work and asking the working groups in 2022 to go back, you know, kind of through the metrics, you know, that were like published two years ago or something like that. Um, <clears throat> making sure that we add the, I mean, it wouldn't be much work, but like the link to the ethics statement, like part of me feels like we just need to spend time going back through our metrics yeah. So for the longest time, we were just kind of putting metrics forward all the time, right? And it's gotten us to a really great spot. But now I feel like we're balancing not only the, <laughs> not only you know developing new metrics, but reconsidering the metrics that we have already published. And we're also thinking about metrics that might be tied to metrics models, for example. So I'm I'm just trying to think through the the amount. Uh of so, so so last week last week in the uh the evolution meeting our, our group kind of talked through that process and we actually created a we created a, a checklist yes, document right. to, to help us kind of go through and uh, uh revisit our uh these metrics uh so perhaps i know we, we shared it last week but maybe we can share it again yeah so does this address like the concern of does it address the amount of effort that's required to go back and look at existing metrics to address like the stuff that matt brought up with inclusive naming and to just address so inclusive naming is actually an item that we were planning on adding to the checklist so mm -hmm. there's two check the content quality and technical requirements checklist so Yep. Oh, yeah. There it is. Review inclusive naming okay. is right there under content mm -hmm. quality. Got it. Uh, so basically, the the checklist uh, does two things for us. One, it allows us to uh, track the uh, the metrics that we're going back and we're reviewing, uh, and then it also goes through the the content quality and the technical requirements or, or the okay. formatting, if you will, that the, that the metrics should have. So, okay. Uh, and those those checklists should be the same that we go through when we when we release a metric. At least that's where where we've gotten to now. Now, when we release metrics, we try to go through these 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 checklists to make sure that there's some consistency. So if we if we follow these checklists, uh, the hope is that we can we can kind of have consistent formatting and consistent uses of of uh, uh, terms and, and so on okay but so this is how evolution is doing it and we I, I suppose we would we would recommend that other working groups maybe take a look at this and and maybe adopt it but uh obviously it's up to them 
I, I would suggest mm -hmm. we should keep this as a like resources in the metric the repo as a for other working groups to refer yeah. it rather than yeah uh, thinking of it as evolution like this is a good resource i really appreciate the effort yeah that is put in so other working group can take it as a resource and work on uh, revising their metric yeah i agree okay and that Matt, are you saying that like this this is kind of growing? Like we, originally we were just like, oh, let's just take a look and make sure that it sounds okay. But now like we have like this official thing that's pretty long <coughs> to like go through every metric. Mm -hmm. So are you are you? Um, it sounds like what I'm hearing is you're pretty concerned about the workload that would yeah. take to review those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just it's the reviewing, and then if our goal is to continue to publish new metrics, that's like in in addition to this yeah. and if we think kind of what metrics the is aligned with metrics models that's a, another just there's just a lot i'm not saying it's bad i'm just trying to think about time that's all what uh the evolution group is doing is we're just taking like uh we're gonna look at one metric every week or two over the course of the year and just review everything and that's part of what our checklist lays out Okay. You know, so trying not to, I mean, if we take it out and try to do it all at once, I think it'll be daunting. And this is, you would do it just in parallel with any, with the development of any with other things. Groups. Right. So it wouldn't okay. take over the group. It would just be like a, a task in each group meeting. Okay. Okay. John, I had that, I was typing that out as you said it, it was very strange. The way I said it. No, no, just I was, I was, I had the same exact idea and I was typing it out. I thought I had oh. a new idea, but it sounds like you already got it taken care of. <laughs> well, we had an idea. It's probably similar to yours. But, you know, nobody has to follow exactly what evolution is doing. It's just like a framework to. Well, I'm going to take, I'm take that list and put it in the resources. There seemed to be general agreement with that. <clears throat> so. I'm going to make you an action item. That way, when you're done, you, you like if you're doing it right now, then the satisfaction done. of being done with it. <laughs> okay, I can't type and run a meeting at the same time. <laughs> so someone else is going to do because I'm not that. I'm not that good. I'm not that good at multitasking. I have to do a singular focus. So I just uh, brought up that issue and I was staring at it for like 30 seconds. I had no idea what I was looking at. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> Why am I looking at this issue? Uh, yeah. Okay. I need more coffee. Um, all right. So the next item on our list here says boilerplate disclaimer for metrics review. Is that what we had been talking about? Maybe I'm I'm not sure what that is. So we already we do have a a, a boilerplate disclaimer for metrics review. Uh, is is someone wanting to edit it or? Did I pull that from? Yeah, maybe I just copied that from last time. You can just give me that action item and then I'll finish. That. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Nothing to do. Nothing to do. All right. That's all good. Um, and then the final thing is actually before we talk about this, I just want to give a quick shout out to Carl, who is also on the call, who joined us. <coughs> like, Carl, um, hi, we're really glad you're here. Do you mind taking a minute, just uh, like a couple seconds, just tell us how uh, how you are and who you are, and um, yeah, just introduce yourself if you don't mind. Oh, okay, cool. Chat. Hi. <laughs> You're more than welcome to use the chat. That's totally fine. Yes, 100%. And while you're doing that, we'll also hear from Kevin, who did not get to introduce himself as well. Hi, I'm Kevin. Uh, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a PhD candidate. I, uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm at the University of Nebraska Omaha. I, I work closely with, uh, with Matt and Vinod. Uh, my, uh, uh, I do a lot of work on the, the website. Uh, I've got my 
uh, my focus is a little bit all over the place. I, I, uh, I like to, I like to work on the, the, the community stuff. So, uh, and a lot of the, a lot of my focus is on, uh, kind of the, uh, how the working groups can, uh, uh, kind of sync all of their things together and use consistent language and terminology. So, uh, I do, uh, metrics models, common working group evolution, uh, and, <laughs> thank you, Kevin. And also thank you, Carl, for saying hello. We're really glad you're here. Um, which kind of leads me to this onboarding update. So this has been a thing that um, you know, we've been um wanting to build out as over the course of you know 2022. I know that's on my kind of personal goal um, to build that experience out. I know it's uh, Matt, Matt Cantu feels very strongly about that as well. Um, so I just wanted to give a quick update. We um, have had a, a little bit of an influx of new faces, which is awesome. Um, we have that form <clears throat> right here um, that I've been pointing people towards. And so when someone fills this form out, um, <clears throat> I try to uh, point them in the right direction. I feel like many times I just point them here. <laughs> I point them here, I point them to the community handbook. Um, but I know we had kind of talked about doing more of like a portal for newcomers to like take them and then, then funnel them out um, individually. But we have had 25, 24, sorry, um, responses to this form since we opened it at the end of November, which is, is cool, I think. I mean, I, considering our community is not the largest in the world. So um, like percentage wise, that's a pretty, a pretty good number. So um, I'm not sure that uh, I do see some faces here. I'm super relieved. Um, to see them because I'm, you know, like I, I point people to things, but I don't know if that's actually helpful or not. So that's just something that I'm going to continue to work on and continue to reach out to people. Um, but I did want to give people an update that this form is, is being used. And if you go to this um, website, which I will copy and put in the minutes so you don't have to remember these, <laughs> leave that URL. Um, if you see something that maybe I could add, especially if you're a new person, um, what, what would be helpful for you? That would be really helpful for me to help more newcomers to our project. So um, yeah, so there you go. And if, uh, if everybody just wants to take a minute and look in chat, Carl gave us a little bit more information about himself. So that's really fantastic. We're really, really glad that you're here, Carl. Um, okay, we have four minutes left uh, to talk about whatever or we can get your four minutes back. What, what do we wanna do? Anything else we need to chat about? Four minutes. <laughs> can I ask on the evolution group that is reviewing the metrics and it sounds like making non-substantive changes to like just cleaning them up and maybe adding a little more formatting presentation, et cetera. Um, who is, is it Kevin running that group? It looks like that from the agenda. Kevin and I coordinate the group with Armstrong and the nods off in there. Um, and we fought, there's a checklist um, of things that make it basically things that are grammar changes or clarifying changes that don't change the meaning. And this is in the handbook. For those kinds of things, we won't run the metric back through review following the community guidelines. However, I'm sure there will be cases where we do make changes that are material that do require community review. We just don't know which metrics that's going to happen on ahead of time. And do you have a working group meeting that's set? Uh, it might be in the calendar. I, I, it is. It's I, 11 I it's, time on the website, but you know, it's a lot of information to absorb. I'm not really parsing yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's every other Tuesday at 10 central time. And so there'll be next week right before this meeting. Okay, thank you. Sure. And the, the evolution working group does have a, our, our focus is on, on kind of those mm -hmm. the traditional kind of activity metrics around code development. So uh, that's our focus area. Yeah. And are you also adding in the rating for the inclusive, inclusive naming or is that like a completely separate track? No, well, that's all part of our review, isn't it, Kevin? Uh, so the the inclusive the inclusive naming review is just to take a look through our documents to make sure that we are 
uh, using inclusive naming or not using terms that uh, uh, are, are not inclusive. Uh, any, any metrics involving inclusive naming uh, would more than likely exist within the mm -hmm. diversity, equity, and inclusion working group. And I'm, ah. I'm certain that they probably have some that are proposed. So, so if you're wanting to work on inclusive mm -hmm. naming metrics, the diversity, equity, and inclusion working group is probably a great place to look. Uh, evolution focuses primarily on kind of activity metrics. So like the number of commits, the number of uh, change requests, things of that nature. Uh, and then we also have a, a value working group, which which works on metrics that help uh, help us understand the uh, the value uh, of a of a project to a uh, organization, uh, an individual, or a community. Uh, we have common working group, which kind of they kind of take whichever <laughs> metrics uh, some of those metrics kind of fit in multiple working groups, so they kind of grab whatever they. Uh, uh, whatever kind of falls on them. Uh, and then we also have a risk working group. Uh, and those, those metrics are uh, obviously uh, uh, associated with, uh, with risk. Uh, so right now, I, I think the risk working group is, is focusing a lot on... Uh, uh, Dependent, dependency metrics. Dependencies, metric. thank you. <laughs> That's good. I wanted to say interdependencies. Uh, yeah, that would be pretty close. Yeah. <clears throat> Everyone who is not speaking, please mute themselves. There's some noise. Thank you. So, so yeah, we we all have just a little bit different focus on the metrics that we uh, that we look at, uh, and then the and then the community group that that's been mentioned a couple times. The the goal of the community group is to kind of make sure that the working groups are kind of using the same processes and terminology uh, across chaos and we're, we're presenting the metrics in a in an organized fashion uh, so that includes kind of our our metrics release process and the website and uh, some of our the templates that we're creating so I, I hope that helps for the new people it does i just found the page with all the working groups outlined on it so <laughs> i was looking for that while you were talking because i was like wow that's a lot of working groups <laughs> It might be worth mentioning too. We have a, um, if you want to know a little more about like the nature of the metrics that we're working on in each group, kind of distinctly, we have this spreadsheet uh, that covers like all. It's like all of the planned working on complete metrics in every working group. Uh, if you want information overload, <laughs> but um, but yeah, that that might that might also be um, helpful for anyone new to understand. Like, oh, this is the kind of thing that this group does, that kind of thing. Also, currently, our, our release metrics are organized by working group. So, uh, so if you go to the uh, the website metrics release page, uh, that is that is organized by working group. All right. Now that we've thrown a ton of information at the, our new members. <laughs> Um, if you do have any questions, um, let me know. I can absolutely send you these links again. I can explain what they are. I can I can answer any questions you have. So just give me a shout, Elizabeth at chaos.community, or you can hit me up on Slack um, or Twitter, whatever. I'm available in numerous, numerous ways. I think I counted one time 11 ways to reach me. So yeah, um, I don't recommend you do all 11. That would be bad, but... <laughs> Anyway, I digress. We are two minutes over time. So everybody have a great rest of your week. We'll see you here next week, if not sooner. And um, thanks again for coming and welcome, welcome, welcome to our new people. Thank you so much. See everybody later.